Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. I'm Matt Walden with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. And today we're going to take a look at a player who I've developed a little bit of a crush on at first impression. And that's slot receiver running back Samaji Grant. Grant was a slot receiver with about 45 catches last year. And then this year they used him at running back down the stretch. And he performed well at his small size and frame. He's a guy that, um, you know, from an NFL perspective, has a limited role in terms of what you'd look for if you're going to look at him as a running back. But if you have a little more imagination as a team and put him in the right situation, he has a lot of skills that could shine bright for a team in a routine role, much in the way that Danny Woodhead has worked out or Tyreek Hill has worked out so far or DeAnthony Thomas in theory could add adds to a team or really helps to combine with Tyreek Hill in many respects. And I'm gonna point out some things about Grant that transcend his size and his role, but show that he's just a strong football player overall, even if that doesn't apply directly to how productive he'll be in the NFL. But these are things that I like from NFL players who I think are good. Things that teams like the Steelers or the Ravens look for. They look for physical, tough football players. And I think that Grant has that in him, even though pound for pound, that may be something that's admirable, but may not always match up depending on how you use him. So that's gonna be important. The first play that we're gonna look at though is him as a runner and what we're going to notice about him that stands out immediately is his agility, his ability to read blocks, his patience to the crease. I mean, even this little play here, you see the, the change in step rate, you see him press the inside crease of the guard and then bounce it back outside. And though he only gets a yard, before he's wrapped, he's able to lean forward to get maybe two on this play. That doesn't seem like much, but again, you're looking at a player who knows how to press and cut back, and we're going to see that a lot, and we're going to see that he will try and finish strong and put it in between the tackles, despite the fact that he's a smaller player. With a little bit better pad level, this guy could be a type of player who would really excel on draw plays and certain red zone looks, depending on the type of scheme, the same, same way that even Danny Woodhead did because he could get under players or, or Darren Sproles could get under players. Now, Darren Sproles is in another class than what Grant has available, but there are some little echoes of that, of what Grant can do from an agility standpoint and a toughness standpoint. Here's an example of that agility right here on this three yard run. You don't usually see a guy hurdle through the line. It's pretty sweet. Now we're going to look at it from the opposite angle, from the end zone angle. And watch him anticipate, first he, anticipate the cutback. He reads the defensive tackles inside advantage on the, on the blocker. And he makes a jump cut. Actually, he just jumps over it. My bad. I'm looking actually over here at this double team here as he presses towards the inside. And then as he cuts back, he anticipates the reach of the defensive tackle. He gets, oh, I don't know, about two and a half, three feet over. And right through the line. That's quickness for you in a, to an extreme. And now he's not going to get away with that all the time in the NFL. But what he will get away with will be plays that I'm about to show you next, which is his ability to press very tight to his blocks and bait defenders at the edge with his quickness and agility. This is a perfect example of that. You're going to watch him as the split right back in the backfield, and he's going to work to left end behind his lead blocker. And as this outside defender comes crashing downhill and gets blocked by the lead blocker. Watch Grant get so close to the back legs to press the crease of the right tackle collapsing the line to the left side. He's going to get so close to this running back and then just cut downhill. 
and it's, it's a type of press and cut you're not going to see very often, even from pro players, because they lack this kind of quickness. Look at how close that was. I mean, that's, that's like razor thin. And then right downhill. It's a beautiful play. I mean, he's... He's right on the heels, and look at him drop the hips and work downhill. And this hip drop here, this ability to do that and cut back this tight is very promising also if they use him as a receiver because teach this guy to run some routes where he can make hard breaks and he's going to be very difficult to cover one-on-one -on, -one on hard breaking routes where he can separate. Imagine an arrow route where you can break like this. That's going to be very tough to defend. And that quickness to just get past, get past the linebacker, work downfield, get about seven to eight yards on this play, and he fumbles the ball. He gets it punched out. But I will say this about Grant. This was his only fumble all year. Um, he only had one fumble the year before. Um, he's not a fumbler in general. He's also not usually an inside runner in general. And you can see he tends to have the ball fairly high. But he got hit across here and had it knocked out. He didn't have it as tight to his chest as probably he should have. But the run in itself, cut back, very nice one. This is the kind of play that is just wonderful to watch when you project it to the idea of him running end arounds or ghost sweeps as a slot receiver or outside receiver. But it also works well, again, from the backfield because you can see the patience, the cutback ability, and the excellent quickness to change direction and get downhill in just a hair's instance. Look at him kind of dip outside and bait that defender off the edge here. Just enough of a give and take right there. So give that leg and take it away, bend around, and just corner fast. He's gonna get downhill on this outside receiver and look at this next cut to get downhill. And when you're this quick, when it's like pouring water out really fast, watch number one here, try and work outside. And he's already too far outside. It doesn't look like it, but with a guy this quick, Look at that. He's already too far outside and he has to turn back inside because of how fast this player can cut down a hill in an instant. And I like his willingness to take the attack to the defender. He, Even though he's not going to win physical collisions most of the time, he's able to get his arm out and push and get another few yards on the play. Just very light on his feet, good hips, and obviously really good acceleration. Ball under the left arm. Dangerous player. One of the things that I really like also about Grant is his willingness to block. We've noticed this a little bit in the opener. If you watched him a bit, and as I was explaining who we were going to watch today, that he's willing to block off the edge, even outside linebackers. And he's good at getting into the body of the defender, taking a strong angle, and even delivering a bit of a blow, even if it's not as technically sound as it should be. But the effort is there, and the awareness and the ability to transition from a receiver on this wide route up the, the sideline, and when his quarterback is working outside here, look at him transition to a block on number one, get his hands into the chest, and push that defender back four yards and then off balance and out of bounds. You know it's a short gain for the, the ball carrier, that effort there, and we're gonna see that show up repeatedly. And for a small player, that tells you a lot. Here it is again, watch him off the right side on this sprint out, and he's gonna help double team with the right tackle on this edge defender. And he goes right in there. I mean, he leans in a little too much here and, and doesn't fully, and he overextends a bit. But he gets his hands in there. He's square to the target. 
he's fighting for that with the help of his his tackle and even when the edge defender decides to come down the line more in pursuit look at this one arm technique that he uses at least to kind of stay with him for a little bit fearless you need to be fearless in the NFL on that level you need to be tough and he certainly plays bigger than his size even if he's not going to be always effective in these types of roles you can see that he's willing to at least help out and you match him up in the right circumstance and he can do an attitude tells you a lot here he is as a lead blocker on this 3-4 outside linebacker look at him work downhill extend overextend a little bit and as a result the defender gets inside of him and ends up making the wrap and though the running back gets four yards look at our man grant slamming the turf he's mad at himself this is the same thing he did when he fumbled the ball he's mad that he missed that block that's the kind of attitude that he want from a player he does not act it. and when you're small you can squeeze through tight creases Watch again and make a jump cut and leap <laughs> through the reach and between a tight crease to get to the line of scrimmage and wind up with four yards on the play. And this is two plays in the game where he leaps like this to get through and get positive yards or make a big play. While not powerful, we've seen that he's physical. And this is a good example of that working this toss play. He's trying to work between these two inside trips receivers. Doesn't work out because the inside, the furthest inside trips receiver gets pushed further outside to close this gap off. And he works outside. And watch him deliver the stiff arm to the outside shoulder of this defender. And actually take him to the ground as he walks, as he runs out of bounds there. Still a nice finish. He'll take it to you, and the fact that he's that size and take it to you, that's what you have to do if you're going to be a small player who's effective in the league, is that when you have the angle and the leverage, you need to... And there's no hesitation with Grant when it comes to attacking as a, run, as a lead blocker. Here he is on this outside linebacker again, right downhill, and look at him to deliver that punch. He literally knocks that defender backwards now he's not big enough to really floor this man and he is a small outside linebacker probably more of a safety hybrid than, than what you're going to find in the NFL but the fact that he has no hesitation to get downhill and he can get into the pads and strike like that I'm telling you how do you not like a player who does that type of work and this might be one of my favorite plays of the of the game for sure. Counter play is going to make a jump cut inside that pulling guard, make another little outside instep to get inside the tight end. So look at them layer these moves. Jump cut, juke, in the hole. Watch it one more time slowly because it's worth seeing at this slow of a rate. Jump cut, juke outside, back inside. Clears the crease. Now watch him spin away, take a hit to the leg he was trying to plant on, maintain his balance, doesn't even need to balance touch. He's, he's attempt, he's, he was prepared to do so, but didn't need to. That was like a Barry Sanders type of move. Stays upright, gets outside, and then watch him, watch him at the end of this. He's going to give a little bit of a pony kick, and then give the forearm. He's imitating Walter Payton on this play. I mean, he's, cha this is a slot receiver who probably played running back at Compton High School and was wanted to be Walter Payton and decided this was his chance. How do you not love that? The guy channels his inner Barry Sanders and Walter Payton on one play. I mean, again, I'm not telling you that he's these guys. 
okay. But this is a really pretty run. <laughs> it's a tough run with great balance and agility. And he does two things on one play that, you know, at the end of your career, you say, you know, I had a run where it kind of looked like Barry and Walter on one play. And people go, you know what? You were right about that. Be pretty proud of that if I were running back. Let's watch it again full speed. Here we go, full speed. <laughs> that ending just kills me every time I see it. Literally gives the forearm shiver. That's just awesome. The thing is, too, is when you're this quick, you have some benefits here as a goal line player because you can get lost in the tackles and you can change direction multiple times with that quickness and control of your steps. Bounces this outside the end from inside the guard. Nice. And this is where we'll end this. This is also a great display of effort and want to. You're down 42-17 in this game. You're responsible for 14 of the 17 points that your team has mustered. And it's top of the fourth quarter, well behind, down by 25. And look at this effort. You're going to have him leading as the on a QB keeper, at least that's how it's set up, to work downhill towards the nickel linebacker. It turns out to be a reverse to the slot receiver. Now look at Grant cut inside the linebacker, work downfield, get in front of this receiver on the reverse, and then get downhill and just plow into the safety and deliver a hit. Now, again, he's a small guy. He is not going to knock a guy on his butt most of the time but the hit is just enough to knock the defender off his angle he tries to recover his balance falls to the ground and the receiver beats 26 for the score a lot in thanks to Grant working downfield and hustling showing physicality really delivering a blow. I mean, he gives his whole body to that. Even if that's not the most technically sound type of play, this is a guy that helps, you know, this is a guy that's going to help a team. Whether it's as a return man, a third down back, a punt returner, a slot receiver, all the things that he does in terms of balance, change of direction, ability to drop the hips, catch the ball, run with some, at least some finishing power on a level that's at least functional, is great agility. And the vision. Watching him run, he often anticipates creases, with, um, penetration, he's able to set up creases with press and cuts. It's really strong stuff. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP Boiler Room videos, you can check out my YouTube channel at the RSP Film Room or my blog at www.mattwaldmanrsp.com. You go, Walter. <laughs> Little Walter.